storm surge is a rising of the sea as a result of atmospheric pressure changes and wind associated with the storm. destructive impact of tropical cyclones and also powerful mid-latitude storms because the weight of water is a thousand times that of the air. The storm surge is also very widespread and impacts not only coastal areas but also the edges of those rivers that feed into the oceans. historic and infamous 2020 storm season with a record-breaking number of landfall hurricanes in the central Gulf Coast. The storm surges of each of those storms left behind damage as far as the eye can see. Yeah, you're right. Because live data on storm surges are so lacking, Team Dominator developed a Surgeonator network capable of streaming live data on storm surge depth and other life-saving meteorological information as hurricanes make landfall. The Surgeonator consists of a sensor head and a station. The sensor head is designed to be below the water and reports the pressure weight of the storm surge as a storm surge depth. The station measures atmospheric variables like temperature and relative humidity and also barometric pressure and streams the life-saving storm surge information live as the storm surge is evolving. This is the head that fits below the water of the Surgeonator and then it uh, uses the pressure weight of that water and it can vet, uh, measure very fine scale storm surge depth, even including the very small waves on top of that storm surge. These can also measure the salinity of the water and the temperature of the water and that information can be used to determine the source. But these are the stations that are exist well above the water line and we connect the Surgeonator head with the station with this large waterproof cable and uh, that information on storm surge depth feeds up to this station and then it's set up to the website live information real-time information coming in with storm surge depth we had to make some serious repairs and modifications after the intense and historic 2020 hurricane season to the surgeonator the surgeonator project is powered by flex seal we use flex tape to mount the surgeonators and also to waterproof the electronic components inside So now I've fixed the wiring on all of the Surgeonator probes. We have four of these ready to go. Here you can see the flex tape, temperature and relative humidity sensor on station number four. And all of these are waterproofed with flex tape products. Never stop flexing. As tropical cyclone Ida was gaining strength in the Caribbean, we knew this storm was gonna be a different beast and likely to have huge impacts on the United States Gulf of Mexico coastline. We feared for the residents of Louisiana that would have to deal with yet another destructive hurricane impact. It's super friendly, but still 17 feet. As we arrived in Homa, we had help from the Sheriff's Department to deploy our Surgeonator sensors deep into the bayou where we expected the storm surge to be most substantial. Second Surgeonator deployed. There's the station broadcasting live. There's Detective Ryan that got us out here. Never stopped chasing. We deployed three different Surgeonator sensors around the Chauvin area and other areas around Lake Boudreaux and also Terrebonne Bay. I'm live in Homa, Louisiana, as the eye wall is approaching rapidly, and that's the inner eye wall. You can see sheet metal flying through the air. 
Oh, that roof is coming. Holy The following shares the results of the data collected by the Surgeonator Network during Hurricane Ida's landfall in southeastern Louisiana. On the western side of the circulation, picked up water here, uh, Lake Boudreaux, uh, the rest of the, uh, the bayou here as well, uh, that water that was transported inland up toward uh, Golden Meadow, and then back around with those easterlies, and then back to the south off of Lake Boudreaux, ended up piling up on the floodgate just to the north of the Surgeonator, and uh, we have evidence of double-digit storm surge there, including debris impacting many of those camps and coquetry just to the north of that floodgate. You can see a lot of storm surge damage. You can see a debris line as well uh, along the levee off to the east. Uh, there you can see that debris line, extensive debris line along that uh, protective levee off to the east. There you can see the debris piled up against the floodgate. Uh, this is the floodgate that I just identified in that levee system just to the north of where the Surgeonator 3 was deployed. You can see a lot of road damage as well from that surge from the north, a very interesting surge that was piled up against that floodgate. And that orange line is the storm surge depth. So there's the orange line. You can see the wave action on top of it as well. Uh, all these little fine scale oscillations. That's the wave action uh, being measured by the surgeonator. Uh, the pressure depth there, and it increases above a foot toward the tail end of the data set. And uh, that is as those southerly winds on the back side of the hurricane finally brought some surge to the south of the floodgate. While we didn't sample the most substantial storm surge that was observed with Hurricane Ida, we did capture a very complex storm surge phenomenon with that debris and surge getting piled up on the north side of the floodgate with those strong northerlies on the west side of the hurricane. However, the largest storm surge we've ever measured with a surgeonator sensor was in excess of six feet in southeastern Louisiana in the Buras area from Hurricane Zeta that was upgraded to a Category 3. This surgeonator data was included in the official National Hurricane Center report on Hurricane Zeta that included the upgrade to Category 3. As we continue to expand the surgeonator network, we plan to capture the complexities of more and more hurricane storm surges, and more importantly, stream live life-saving information as the storm surge is coming in. Never stop flexing.